In this video, you are going to learn how to track any lead from using Google Tag Manager. So, what we will do is we will track our website a custom form or like any kind of form without iframe and we will push a Google Tag Manager data layer event like that with user data like username, phone number and I mean form, field, all of this necessary data and then using this Google Tag Manager we create a trigger and tags which through we send this data to our Google Analytics 4, Google Ads or Facebook Pixel and Conversion API so let's see how you can also do that and you will find the all of this necessary code in the video descriptions you have to just uh, first copy this code which i show in here i will share this uh, code link in the video description so just check this description and you'll find this code so you have to just copy this code at first and once you copy this code we have to now go to our website so if i could go to my website here is my website and then if i could go to my contact page yep so here is my contact page where my form actually available so here is my form so if i now like submit this form and here i can see actually this is redirect on another page so let's back in here and then at first we have to fulfill this form field like i have to write in here the name also like email also like um, my website and then we have to we not click in here submit and we will click in here the mouse right hand side button and then we have to go to inexplict and once you go to inexplict in here here you can see uh, in the element we have multiple things so i just choose from here this arrow and then i will choose from here just only specific this form here you can see when i pop up this mouse in the form under they are show like the form class also like showing here uh, others data so we have to find out from here the form id what is our form id so if i could click in here and here you can see still i not have the form id and uh, i have to i have in here form class it's also work but i don't actually find out the form id so here is the form name and uh, if i could go a bit up here you can see uh, others data but i not find in here actually form id so it's actually framer we said built in framer from so i can use in here the class it's also work for me so we have to find out this form id or we have to find out this form class so like in this case uh, i find out the form id so i just copy this id from here i go to in here console and then in console i just remove everything what already exists in here and then what i have to do is i have to go to um just paste in here the form id just to note and then go here copy this code go back to my website paste in here the code and then i have to go i have to copy this form class which i was copy and then here i have to um paste in here the form class so if you are use i mean paste in here the form id so you have to write in here before the form id hash or if you only add in here like me the class so we you have to write in here the form um uh, i mean before the form uh, class name you have to just put in here a dot and then if i click in here enter here you can see uh, undefined here you can see undefined and then if i now click in here like and then write in here my name for example in the form and my email address and which side and then if i okay and then if i click in here write in here form data this one and then click in here enter i see in here 
uh, input and then if I could click in here here you can see there are necessary all of this data available but we're not able to actually read, read this data so if you've seen here form data like that available so that's mean your uh, I mean our the ID or class would be working so the main key thing is you have to find out this form ID or form class and then you have to add this form ID or class in our code and that's it so what we have to do now we have to go to here and then copy this code just select all of this code from here and then copy this code go to Google tag manager and then we have to create a new tag which is for our um, like which code push the data layer event whenever user submit this form so to create a tag custom HTML tag you have to click in here new and then you have to choose from here the custom HTML tag template and then you have to paste in here the code and once you paste in here the code you can just click in here so you can see in here full code and then you have to just paste in here the form uh, classes which we was which i was copying so i just go back and then i will just copy this form classes with the dot and then i will go back to the um, tag manager and then i will paste in here i mean replace with your form id to the class and the same thing i'll do uh, in here okay so now my code is ready to push the data layer event so the trigger we choose from here all page yep and then we have to write this uh like tag name so for example in this case the tag name is custom html form um, data push and then we have to click in here save so once you save in here so now it's time to check the form the code can be push the data or even with the user data so let's click in here preview uh, here you can see uh, character 42 has error i just open this again and then um, the error is actually in here we have to just remove this and then if you now click in here save so let me check in here yeah i i, I forgot to remove this uh, in here okay so in your case it should be worth no worries about that and then uh, what i have to do now i have to go to google tag manager again and then i have to click in here preview and here is still a error so no worries let me open that and in the error is basically create uh okay so we have to actually uh add this symbol okay we have to add this symbol in here go back paste in here the symbol the same thing we have to add also in here so now it should be work let's click near save and then click in here preview and here you can see this is now working actually i was forget to add the symbol anyway so now we have to paste in here the our landing page url so here is my landing page url i just copy this landing page url from here i'll remove everything from here and then paste in here the landing page url exactly this page where my form exists i just click in here connect so here i can see now google tag manager preview with my website is properly connected so now it's time to check the form push the data layer event or not so now if i could click in here and then if i could write in here the name like name email address and website url and once i click in here submit so the form should be pushed i mean our google tag manager custom html code which we was open it should be push a data layer event in here okay which is called contact from submit so if you now click in here submit and um, it's still loading okay so it's read it on the contact page anyway so if i could go back to google tag manager preview and here i can see 
a contract from submit event push so that's mean we have now the titular event awesome so if I now click in here contract from submit and then if I could click in here here you can see with this event we also receive the user name user email user I mean with the URL the form all of this field we also capture so that's mean this is uh, working perfectly so now it's time to uh, now it's time to create a trigger like whenever a user submit this form i want to send this data to my google Analytics for for example uh, you can send this data using tag uh, let's first create a trigger so you will be also clear how you can send this data to your any platform using only tag okay so if i could go to trigger in here i have to click in here new and then i have to choose from here um custom event and then i have to paste in here the trigger name contract from submit and then if i could write in here like um form submit so this is um this is free audit form if i could go back like i offer a tracking fee i mean tracking audit so here you can see claiming free tracking audit is free so that's why I just, I mean, for myself to remember this, I just write in here form submit free audit. And then I just click in here save. By the way, if you want to get a complete tracking setup for your website, so I, uh, you can definitely contact with me. I can help you with that. Like I can, I can you know, set up for your website complete. Just not only lead form tracking, also like book appointment form tracking, also e commerce tracking if you have and uh for any platform like google ads google Analytics Tour, facebook fixel facebook conversion api so yeah if you need any help with that so feel free to reach out in the description link anyway so yeah so now we create this trigger so now it's time to create a tag and send this data to our google in our google Analytics Tour, for example so in this case i'll show you using how to send this data to google Analytics Tour, but you can send this data to facebook fixel using the same i mean following the same method because now our trigger is ready and we can send this data to any platform so once your trigger is ready you can i mean your 80 percent job is done okay so let's see that so now we have to click in here new and then we have to choose from here click in here tag configuration and choose from here google analytics 4 and then google analytics 4 event and then we have to add in here the measurement id so ga4 measurement id i add in here and then you have to write this event name so you can write in here like um the the standard ga4 lead from submit event name is uh generate lead but in this case for my understanding i will see exactly this name what i write in here so i'll write this name like free audit claim free audit free audit claim so whenever a user submit lead form uh this free audit form so in my website uh, in my google Analytics course in the event which is which name would be free audit claim okay so now i have to choose from here the trigger and we already create this trigger which is from submit free audit and then we have to now write this name in here like ga4 and free audit from submit okay and then i have to click in here save so now we are ready to go and then let's see is this perfectly work or not or work or not work so it should be 100 percent work so let's test it to ensure and verify everything is okay so i will just click in here preview and then i have to go to my website and here you can see tag manager is my website again connected perfectly and then now what i have to do is i have to submit this lead form so i just add in here the details if i could go back in here here you can see form is start but we not see uh if i you not see in the tag file under any tag file related to um yeah free audit form is still not fire fire means this is not a still i mean uh send this data to our analytics platform so once i click in here submit 
and then go back to here here you can see a contract from submit also here you can see uh, the tag fire which is free audit from submit and if i click in here you can see this status and data to our Golantix 4 and another thing like now in here you can see the email name phone number city url those are available so those are eager for your enhanced conversion tracking for google ads so you can send this data or like when you send set of facebook feasible you can send this data to increase your facebook event match quality with your conversion api tags so again if you need proper tracking setup for your website and uh, so then you can contact with me by description link you can directly message me by whatsapp or you can book a call with me so we'll or also you can uh, claim your free audit uh, being now we said so that is a process how we can so that is a process how we can push a data layer event for any of this custom form and then how we can create a trigger using this uh, uh, event name and then how we can send this data to our analytics platform which is in this case i'll show now how you can send this data to google analytics 4 so it should be like google ads it should be like twitter it should be linkedin conversion tracking etc or google analytics 4 facebook Pixel, anything any of this platform so yeah um hopefully this will be helpful is this helpful so um, yeah um uh, i would love to create more video in future like that and uh, just um comment in here uh if you find this valuable so and again you can you, you find this code in the video description so yep thank you thanks for watching this video and thanks for your time